Whether you're an assassin that travels in stealth or a medieval knight leading the front lines into battle, different skills are required for the job. While it's nice to have the full suite of tools at your disposal, there are defining skill sets to either poke, dive, or brawl successfully. Whether a player decides to further invest in their strength to supercharge their primary style or buff a weakness to cover a potential counter, the allocation of skills and tactics will tilt a player more toward one style over another. So today we're going to cover the common skills and tactics associated with each playstyle so you understand who you are and can understand what you're playing into. What components make a diver? Since divers are looking to set up their attack, finishing skills are a premium. Dive skills include holding your shot for disguise, drop shot, attacking with your feet, net play, and put away forehands such as run around and the high hammer shot. Because of this, divers usually develop excellent vision reading the opponent's position when setting up to hit along with planning out their attack. The downside often involves not having consistently strong rally balls or the ability to absorb pace when attacked. Aside from skills, there are five tactics to pressure an opponent, which are number one, consistency, number two, direction, number three, depth, number four, spin, and number five, power. Dive tactics lean toward power, direction, and depth. Spin slows the ball down, which is on the opposite end of the spectrum from putting the ball away. And while no player likes making excessive errors, consistency is not a main form of exerting pressure as it's necessary to take some chances as a diver. From a mental standpoint of trust, discipline, and patience, trust will be the most essential to have the courage for a diver to keep attacking when things go south or when the match gets tight. What components make a poker? Since pokers are looking to bait mistakes to counter, defensive skills are a must. This means knowing when to give up space and deflecting pace to turn defense into offense. Variety such as slice, angles, and lobs, which is equivalent to using depth and height, all fall under poke skills to both protect their court and induce miscalculated offense from the opponent. Because of this, pokers often develop excellent vision for reading the opponent's body language when recovering. This allows for knowing where the opponent is hitting and positioning for defense accordingly. The downside of many peer pokers involves not being able to generate their own pace to take space or to finish points. From a tactical perspective, pokers lean toward depth, direction, and spin, slice in particular. Placement is a priority over power when able to deflect the incoming pace, and some variety prevents the opponent from attacking with rhythm and balance. Mentally, patience is key because it takes time not only for opponents to make mistakes, but also to read your opponent's misplays and patterns to adapt. Rushing is perhaps the most detrimental to a poker. What components make a brawler? Since brawlers are looking to wear down and push their opponent back, skills to command space are essential. Having rhythm is important to exert one's physicality through strength, speed, and or endurance because a big part of brawling is taking healthy cuts at the ball. That's why topspin and generating pace fall under brawl skills to both encourage and win the energy exchange. 
From the perspective of vision, brawlers look to be efficient at maximizing their damage output and watching when the opponent is weakened to potentially finish. The developmental flaw of pure brawlers is often not being able to adjust their positioning or lacking the variety of finishing shots once the opponent moves back to absorb pace. Brawl tactics are generally power, spin, in particular top spin, and consistency. Not that there aren't aggressive brawlers who sacrifice some consistency for direction to hit more winners, but safer targets lead to energy exchange and breaking down their opponent. Via the process of elimination, you may have guessed that for a brawler, discipline is the most important mentally to create a level of play that is high quality and reproducible. To highlight a few skills, for a diver, serve and volley requires reading the opponent to plan out an attack, timing the move forward, and finishing with disguise. For a poker, slice makes it easy to balance, read the opponent's offense, and reposition while effectively diffusing pace and protecting the court by keeping the ball out of the opponent's strike zone. For a brawler, topspin allows taking big cuts with racket speed, slowing the ball down to prevent winners while pushing the opponent back and making the exchange very physical. However, it's unlikely a player will exclusively use the skills for their designated playstyle. A top spin lob could set up a combo to dive, or an offensive slice could be used to create space when brawling. But still, the skills that define a given playstyle are very clear. At a high level, players can have a wide mix of skills, but generally favor those for their specific playstyle. At a lower level, the playstyle will more directly reflect the set of skills. We will learn how to assess playstyles in a future video, but in the meantime, focus on how a given player is using their tools rather than drawing quick conclusions from a single skill or tactic as that can often be a red herring.